Hi, this is Eric of Arn Software and uh, today I want to show you a little trick about working with normals and uh, the channel boolean material in Fusion 6.1. What we have here is a rather simple scene, basically a cube, a duplicate 3D and a transform tool to move it around a bit. And when I hit play you see we have actually a little bit of motion here basically by modifying the shapes X and Y offset with the shake modifier and introducing a time offset of 1 in the duplicate 3D tool. So that's not too special at all. If I render this out, actually in my 3D render I choose to also output the normal channel. And that means I can use Fusion's shader tool to relight my scene after it has been rendered basically by modifying the equator angle, polar height or even the color of the light I'm casting onto the scene. However, when I zoom in you see that there's a little issue with the anti-aliasing. Well, obviously not in the original render but in the shader tool. So let's examine this basically by taking a channel boolean, connecting the foreground and the background to the output of my renderer and copying the uh, X, Y and Z normal buffer into the RGB channels. And there you see that obviously the normal channel doesn't have any anti-aliasing. Well that's according to the specifications as you would expect it for example with the Z buffer as well. So having no anti-aliasing of course the shader runs into the same issue and you get pixelized edges like this. So how do we get out of this? Right, let's do a little trick and create our own XYZ normal shader in Fusion. To do that I first add a replace material and I want to copy and instance my renderer here I'm feeding my scene into the replace material and then I add a channel boolean material in this case and pipe it into the replace material node. In the channel boolean material itself I choose to copy the X, Y and Z normals into the red, green, blue color channels and I want to do this in I space. I could also do it in world space or in model space, but if I do it in I space and render this out, you can actually see that the output looks almost the same as the normals I rendered with my original renderer here. But if I zoom in, you see that I actually have anti aliased edges here. So let me copy and paste an instance of my shader and of course I still need those RGB values to go into the normal channel of my rendering up here so that the shader can understand it. To do that I add another channel boolean tool and I say I want to do nothing to the red, green, blue and alpha channel I want to enable my extra channels, my aux channels here and to XYZ normal I want to copy the red foreground, the green foreground and the blue foreground respectively. So I get my original rendering but I also have my anti-aliased normals channels in here. Let's connect that to the shader and view it up here. So what you see here is the shader output with the nice anti-aliased edges whereas the original shader output looks quite jaggy. So that's one trick how you could use the channel boolean material to write your own XYZ normal shader, render out an additional pass and use that fully anti-aliased. To take this even further, let's switch on motion blur in our renderer. 
let's ramp up the quality a bit maybe like so so as you can see the motion blur is nicely rendered but again there is no motion blur at all in the normals channels that means that the shader working with the original normals actually does not only come up with those jaggy edges but also loses its point when it comes to motion blur like here but with our normal shaders we did here we of course have the same full motion blur that we have in the original rendering and let's see what happens if we apply that to the shader you see I get a very nice motion blur here nice edges nice anti-aliasing so if you work with techniques like that, keep in mind that you always can write your own shader, your own XYZ normal shader in Fusion using this trick. There are more tricks to come, so stay tuned for other news from your favorite compositor. Cheers!